guys, happy wax on Wednesdays. Today I'm gonna to do a little continuation of the project last week with the monotypes on the gel press plate. And I'm just gonna do a couple of little things that you can do with, when, with those monotypes once you uh, complete them. And today I'm gonna to do a couple more of those monotypes and I'm just gonna do some really uh, nice backgrounds. And that's all I need today is backgrounds. I don't need an actual painting with a focal point or anything like that. I'm just going to create some really pretty backgrounds with some blended colors. And I finally found my orange oil stick that I've been looking for, but not before I videoed uh, this week's, before I taped this week's video. So you get to see some really cool blending with the oil sticks right on the gel press plate. And that's one of the cool things about using the oil sticks, the RNF oil sticks on the gel press plate is you can blend the, blend the colors right there on the plate and it really you can make some cool colors with it if you don't like it you can wipe it back off uh, i did all of the oranges on all of the papers that i did i did the oranges with of course um, yellow and red and some of the greens with blue and yellow so just some cool color blending there on the gel press it's really a lot of fun to just sit there and blend colors if nothing else and then I created some of these backgrounds and when I saw I was happy with the backgrounds on the copy paper I switched over to a really lightweight a really lightweight rice paper and this rice paper uh, comes in a sheet and it's almost as light as a tissue paper so it really works well for blending into encaustic and also working with it as collage and whatnot and it takes the print off the gel press plate really well too with lots of detail so once i was happy with the coloring of the copy paper and what i was doing and the blending i moved over to the more, more expensive rice paper that i was going to actually use in the piece so spoiler alert i'm about to show one of the pieces this is one of the finished pieces that I'm gonna do in the video. And these are um, flowers, I just cut them freehand. I did not use a pattern or a template, I thought about it, and you can get them really you know, cheaply off of uh, copyright free sites there on, if you Google flowers or flower pattern, I'm sure you can find some that are copyright free. I just did these freehand and layered them, and these are from the background pages done on the really thin rice paper so they're really fine uh, rice paper if i had to do this again and this is the finished painting if i had to do this again i would probably do the background first on the board and then just touch up after i added the flowers and the leaves and this and i would probably add the stem so i would probably do it completely backwards of the way i do it in the video and i would uh get a base coat going and then do the whole background in the pan pastels, draw the stems and then place the flowers and just worry about touch up. A little bit easier to get around and just blend a beautiful pan pastel background without having to go around the leaves and the flowers and whatnot. So if I was to do it again, this piece, that's exactly how I would do it. It's just kind of reverse everything uh, stepwise. And it's okay, but it's easier just to blend a really nice background with all your lights and your darks and, and get your composition going background-wise without having to go around obstacles in your way. So this is one of the pieces that will be going on this week. Sorry for the spoiler. And if you're enjoying Wax on Wednesdays, then please like and subscribe to the channel. And also our project group, Wax on Wednesdays project group on Facebook is really has so many um, awesome, awesome, awesome things going on. There is a lot of great uh, pictures and photos and, and things that people are doing with the Wax on Wednesdays projects, really getting into it and, and sharing everything and they're just beautiful beautiful projects going on and, and being shared on the Wax on Wednesdays project group. So if you'd like to join us, it's still, uh, I'm going to leave it up until the 15th of this month 
as still the $24.99 subscription price. And uh, I said June 30th, but I'm gonna leave it up until July 15th because it's just it's just such a great group if you guys wanna join. And uh, also the In Cost Ecology 101 starts September 21st. And I'm also going to leave the early bird registration sale up until the 15th as well. So if you want to get into In Cost Ecology 101, um, I'm going to leave that early bird registration until July 15th. And if you'd like to get into the Facebook group, uh, the Wax on Wednesdays project group with uh, giveaways and sharing, and you can also ask questions in the group. And it's just a great place to share and uh, share your encaustic journey. And I'm going to leave that up on sale until July 15th as well. And the uh, details, the link for the details of both of those. Uh, both the project group and the uh, in cost ecology 101 is in the description box below so i hope you enjoyed this week's projects and have fun happy creating <laughs>
great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. <laughs> 